Hello and welcome to this introductory video on the Korg NTS-1 NewTek Digital Synthesizer. The NTS-1 is a highly customizable DIY synthesizer produced by Korg that contains a powerful synth and multi-effects engine in a compact and highly portable housing. The NTS-1 features a digital oscillator inspired by the Prolog and Minilog XT. We can select oscillators on the unit via the OSC button. We have analog modeled multi-mode filter and envelope generators, which we can respectively select via the filter and EG buttons. We have modulation, delay and reverb effects, which we can respectively select via the mod, delay and reverb buttons. We have a full arpeggiator with multiple ranges, scales and modes. And we can select this via the R button. We have a ribbon keyboard and internal speaker, which means the NTS-1 is a standalone musical instrument. And the only thing we require to play it as such is a power source. We have a display, which will show us the name of the oscillator or effect currently uh, selected, or it'll show us a parameter associated with that oscillator or effect or a parameter value. We can select oscillators, effects, and parameters via the type selector knob. And we can change parameter values via these two control knobs here, labeled A and B. On the front of the device, we have a 3.5 mil stereo jack. On the back, we have a volume control dial. We have a USB port which is where the device is powered or can be connected to a PC or other device. We have a MIDI import, which means we can connect and control from a MIDI controller. We have sync in, sync out ports here, which means we can synchronize the unit with another uh, device. And we have an audio import, which allows us to send audio to the device where we can use the effects uh, directly on the unit. In the videos that follow, we're going to explore in detail the preloaded oscillators and effects that come with the unit. Then we're going to look at installing and using the tools that we're going to need in order to create our own custom oscillators and effects and how we load those to the unit. And then we're going to walk through uh, the development of a custom oscillator to show you how it's done. 